Hello guys, Luke Archie today, it's a Tuesday, a little bit late, but I've just been thinking about my um, PC um, th this morning, and the upgrade when I said I want to upgrade, how I've been looking at it recently, I've been still thinking about it, because sometimes I feel it's not needed, but I do want to improve some stuff with my computer, and I'm basically just gathering parts, seeing what, what I'm doing, looking at now, and actually I've got more I was thinking it would, but I couldn't do it because of the case being a bit weird than than most cases. Seems the motherboard is up, mentally upside down, more like your CPU cooler is meant to be at the top, except it's right at the bottom at the corner, and that's a thing that's been piss. Um, excuse that language. I say p pissing me off, but it is pretty much true. It's quite pissing me off for a bad re for quite a bad reason actually, because when they must have been designed this case, they must have thought, oh, maybe. We don't want it to open on looking from the computer on the left side. We want to open it on the right. Us and so and it just came to the end and thought they. Ha I don't know whoever did this, but whoever designed that case is an idiot. Um, even when it does look nice, is when they have to open it from this side. Because the reason is, the board is on that side. I mean, you can't change it. Uh, maybe they put it that way so if it blows up, you could just buy. You'd have to buy a new one, or something happened. And that's the problem, this computer can't really be modified in a sort of mad way because of the case and of the board being mounted upside down for it to be this way. Otherwise it'd be facing out the front if they wanted it on the right. So, and then, that, of course, that's the problem really. And then if you turned it around, it would be, actually, it would be on the, no, then it would be on the, that side is what they want you to open the door from. So, that's the main problem here, so it was restricted on some stuff with it, and also um, ports, um, graphic cards I need to change, but you can also get rid of some stuff and put more goodies in, because I've actually had a look at the back, and there's some things that I don't actually need now, or didn't need in the first place, and that is actually two things, first of all, there's an Ethernet um, upgraded card thingy that I've never ever used, Seems the board actually already has one, and basically I only use wireless. Seems my seems that one's connected to my main bedroom Wi-Fi, so it's also pretty powerful. More if I was doing it downstairs, I had a power line that's used that hardware connect for connectedly before. If I didn't have my setup behind there, is my recently Apple router um, connected, but. That's what I basically did. So yeah, and I don't need a f uh, the internet card that's in there because even if I do, the, the um, it's got one on the board. Um, but the wireless does that good enough for me. Uh, the thing that I need to get rid of is it. There's a card in there that I used to use before I got my telly. Um, it was on my computer when it was still running uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, it came with a TV server app and it had that and it had that card in that you could have a satellite or a uh, digital aerial connected to and I did have actually had my little homemade aerial on top of my printer there if it's sitting there. I haven't used it in a while. I did actually use it when at first I got this tele before I mounted it up and I also had this sort of okay job aerial cable coming through my roof. That's how I get my my um, TV reception if I'm not watching Netflix sort of YouTube and I want to watch normal free view thingy from live telly. That's what I use. Uh, but before though I had it down here but, and I'm also glad I had that telly now because I don't have to sit at my table when watching something. The most time it, it crashed quite badly on here most times so it wasn't that good anyway. The card was good when it was connected hard wired you know directly up to a proper aerial it's fine but because i couldn't have that it was not really that good but that card's pretty good so i'll sell that with the internet card i don't know if we'll get a lot of that but probably with the digital ones I mean, it's quite a half decent one and may get a, a good bit for that maybe and then i could i know so the graphic card's going but and that could leave up to more, some more space because most of these when i was looking i'm looking at ebay for a graphic card since i Seems I'm actually looking for the G. Um, it's G, I think it's the GeForce card. And um, anyway, I'll show you in a moment because I'll show you the parts and stuff that I'm thinking about buying for um, my little project. Um, but most of the body ones and stuff they take two um, uh, slots on the back. Um, 
me and making it less stuff because it's okay I can just move up the two stuff there but it depends though how much cards some cards don't fit in the other and it's just coming up to that part it's mostly the case that's stopping these upgrades coming if I ever knew this I wouldn't actually set the computer but I didn't really think I needed it for editing or anything because I was using the iPad and stuff I didn't think I was going to use the camera that I was using now, I'd never get to that stuff, I'd just carry on using tablets and stuff. But I did, so this is now what I need to use on PC enough every time when I make a YouTube video to get it out to you guys. And I want to have better quality and stuff now, so I'm starting to use it a bit more now than just for videos now, because I'm starting to get into the PC and tablet and using it again thing. Because before, I didn't have a PC in my room to start with, before I had a tablet or an iPod I actually would go into the study of that and had an old Windows XP very slow computer that actually just blowed up and stopped working on the 1st of January 2050. Now, even when I had this, I needed to want to get some stuff from from there. And even when we put a new one in, Dad just didn't want it anymore because no one used it. Because since I got my one, well, I didn't use it for my mass before. Well, sometimes. Could be before my laptop so I, a lot of things changed basically I, before my computer I did like actually like Windows XP it was a good starting point because that's actually the, the software violent how to use a P on, PC on so it's a bit sad to say goodbye but I'm glad to the modern day stuff though since there was no app store or anything like that that's why I prefer Windows 10 and stuff and I'm also coming with a new stuff so when it's a Linux out bus I can't pronounce it or even try and think how to say it probably but it's a new so um, software that works like iOS I'll show you a little bit of that later on but here's the graphics card that I'm talking about if I don't even know if the camera will work properly because of the brightness of the screen I might have to turn it down but I'm looking at graphic cards here but if I scroll to the top though uh, I'm not going to buy this one but let's just click on this one uh, see ordinary listings you see most of them take doubled um, DINs and that's what's causing the um, problem for our graphic card upgrade. You can still get ones, but some of them are not that modern. Uh, I still want a half modern one. They are some, and they're actually quite reasonably priced as well, so that's good. But I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, I do know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a GeForce card, really, because I want to keep uh, get some high specs. So if I, because I've, I'm gonna keep using this uh, monitor for now. That actually used to be in that study seems as soon as we lost that I got this monitor because there was no place for it to go instead of it being sold or chopped in the skirt and there's nothing wrong with it and the other one was used and just give to me with this when I started off because I had a brick one and that was from the scrappy that that was from the scrappy actually my but my granddad repaired it but now I'm glad to have this one since this one's barely been used but sadly there is a I don't know if it's a graphic card on the screen but there is a uh, there's um, a pixel problem or most of the time most of the pixel flip there looks like a dead pixel in there that makes it a bit of a problem with the screen if you can sometimes see it when you're doing editing or a certain brightness when it comes the cam when it comes to that screen it's fine but when you watch it from YouTube it's perfectly fine so it's a graphic card or that screen but I also want to upgrade it when I move around I think it may be about bringing my PC um, um, down, down here we move those shelves or something to because I want to make get it off my desk and have maybe two monitors and try and make because I do most time I always because even when that screen is near the best I can fit in for the space I've got with the PC up on the desk it's quite small and when doing editing and you know, so dragging over the images and stuff and trying to do other things it's quite tight doing it with all small screen so I might have to be doing that soon but uh, to the graphics card part is sort of the main part of this video is there's just so much and not and the used ones are pretty good but I want a sort of new-ish one for the quality of it and and other things um, that could not be that important to you but is with me I was actually looking at no it was this one before this is a skinny one quite cheap actually I just want a half decent one it has a HDMI and all that stuff seems the other one is um it does have a HD I think it does have an HDMI let me just check uh yeah it's got a, I assume it doesn't have a HDMI it has a HDMI for some reason going to the motherboard so it is kind of sort of modern -y. 
Oh, oopsie. Actually, because it's a little bit difficult holding the camera, I'm just going to stop it and I'll re-edit it into the video. It seems I say this first because it's going to get it's getting a little bit long. So I'll actually tell you if it's got HD and my cable will carry on from there. So I'll just quickly check that out. Okay, I checked. Hopefully it started in time and it didn't cut off my voice, but I think it was me that actually stopped with my mouth open like this. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a weird pose. But that's how it looked like. It does actually have a HDMI and other outputs for quite smart, including the VJ because this screen's quite old. But it is a Chinese cheap card and that may be the part of the pixels losing on that screen because it, it's probably a cheap Chinese one. It was probably found here because it was from a Lidl or Aldi store because it was half price or something. It, it's fair well, but it's guaranteed that card of it being that cheap. It's something like Jangong. Gravity card 3.0, thinking like that, and it's just like cheap, need to upgrade it. So, I don't, it doesn't matter about a graphic card that much, I'm not like a gamer, and or it needs to be that pit. So, I just need a half decent graphic card and a well known brand one to um, do editing with and, and also watching YouTube videos most of the time and stuff. And I just need that sort of performance. So, I don't need much, but I want something half decent and guaranteed to last for a long time. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I I also need a USB 3 um, um, motherboard connector things probably t for they'll take the slot up from that um, USB one because um, uh, I need to replace that since I'm most time when I when I did that nature side is gone video I wanted to do a voice holder but I didn't end up doing it since the microphone my webcam that's the only microphone thing I've got really for modern day but it'll actually fit that I've got this one here that used to work for that Dell PC down there but that's even worse than the actual webcam because even this thing worked it, it's just so it'd be worse it, it'd be a better off using that but it was just a bit too quiet though for voiceover for some sort so, so so I had to skip some of it that's my apology but literally it was like that really and I want to get one of those blue mic blue um, mics but I found out though just by putting my last device in but it was that hard drive link that I unboxed because the main one I was using for my laptop though so I want to use on my computer but using that cable from using most of the cables out there there is no USB ports anymore left so if I get any, any more USB devices it's like no don't have any spaces that's pretty much it so I need to get another USB um, motherboard um, card thing to ha get have any more um, devices because literally it was we're strict on USB ports like now because seriously there's barely none left or there is none left basically so we need to pick one of those up so my budget's going to be quite good for the stuff I want I most one thing that I thought and it was going to cost is I think it's going to cost a lot of money but actually it's not for even the one I want it's quite cheap actually so and a well-known brand as well so that's pretty good and that's also new. It may not be um, like um, 25th, well I hope it is, but it's not going to be like the newest model available. But it'll be something half decent that'll treat me and do the stuff I want it to do and also have some advantage for the future. Um, so yeah, that's what I want. I don't know about the CPU colour yet. I definitely want to upgrade it because it's the standard one. I want to make it cool because most of the time this setting, I do find that I can put my hand on the case and it feels quite warm. So I want to um, just advance that a little bit better, but the parts are coming up. Um, the prices actually seem pretty reasonable. Seems um, I have other stuff I want to do. I also want to get those beat. I want to get those pair eat beats in ear headphones. I found out I'm going to get a pair of refurbished ones because it's a cheaper way. Now I also could get a pair of modern ones, but those are the style I like for the in ear headphones more than the rest of them. So that's sort of the way I'm going to go. Well, I'm still deciding, but yeah, I just want, I just like pure audio and that uh, any headphones are just not cut. Cool. I bought some in America, but that was just because on the way down there watching movies, I found out one, it, one was louder than the other and it found out um, one, of the, one of the speakers in, uh, in the headphone uh, in my original pair of iPod um, in-ear headphones basically p packed up one of the speakers, so it made one ear quite... Um, headache in one ear and then the other one was fine so it, so it was quite painful so I just put it for the trip and also 
the trip trip back and for other things before so but now I want to get pure because they will do there is near enough exactly the same they're not the best as the genuine ones because of course the genuine ones are near enough always better but I need to get the Beats one because I, I really like in ear headphones for portability and also other things but I don't want to explain this video because it's already getting quite long so yeah that's what that's what I'm at but yeah it's just basically the graphics card isn't the main thing I want to upgrade and also that CPU things but because of the case though it's quite tight so I'm still thinking about the design I want to get the world color on but of the case design though I think we may be struggling on size and stuff so I may have to look for another invention but I'll definitely find another one to upgrade it but more parts on that coming very soon but I've got the graphics card that I'm looking at and it's going on pretty far so I've got the list uh, let's pull on a let's search actually yeah so here we go here's the um, graphics card that I want pretty good um, it'll do for me um, pretty good I'm very happy with it the reviews are pretty good also on the internet from Amazon because you get reviews and stuff but yeah that's what I want uh, USB 3.0 card I'm just going to do voice search because I'm too lazy to type anything in USB 3.0 card and then here we go here's PC cards and so for the accessories you see there's many options available so yeah the, they were going pretty cheap for even USB 3.0 cards so we're pretty much all sorted for this so yeah those are the cheapest thing the graphics card's going to probably cost them more and probably the CPU one it depends on the one I choose but yeah I think it's pretty reasonable uh, I'm just gonna f so yeah I'm gonna find the USB hub I'm probably gonna go for the cheapest one since there's no difference pretty much actually I'm gonna go for this one here a little bit over just a little bit more priced a little bit but we're, we're fine um, it's this one here six pound sixty free postage uh, yeah this one will do probably pretty cool um, two thousand almost also the stuff get a USB extension cable as well quite a bonus seems I actually use quite a lot of those so yeah that's um, good let's see this one popular okay for actually a little bit less actually there you go that's even better well sort of there's less so I'd probably go for the one more just in the quality of it because there hasn't been any complaints about it but yeah uh, that's pretty good uh, I'm still deciding about the CPU one I'm still looking at it I'm thinking about buying the CPU part through Amazon but yeah uh, that's probably my that's my dad just called me for um, food or dinner and stuff so yeah I'll get back to it in just a second after I finished eating so yeah I'll be back in a couple of minutes or so but for you guys I'll be a couple of seconds so yeah see you in a little bit okay carry on with the CPU cooler I've I've been what I had a look on eBay I thought I was going to use Amazon for the basically didn't but I found this one it's he this basically this is the one I want uh well V the V6 Amel LED tower cooling but I don't think it's going to work my system seems it's quite big it, when you have a look at seems if I go on another one it gives more photos and stuff literally this is how far it sticks off the board and I have a feeling it's just such a big V6 animal V8 animal it's just not going to fit with my system because even when the board's out it's like uh, how big the box is it's going to be like that so I'm not sure if it's going to fit so I don't know but it definitely it's definitely good it gave seriously good of cooling seems this is the used one but yeah basically the description is pretty good it is basically it said this uh, hi welcome to my auction I was was going to build a new system but never had the chance so the term is technically new uh, thanks for looking any questions please ask this number if you're interested if I never get it if you're looking to buy a PC I recommend these since there is super high good reviews on these but because of my case and how how the boards are mounted upside down and stuff I just don't know and stuff so but I definitely need to upgrade the start one because even because it's just not that powerful well it, it does what I does but it, it gets a lot more than it could be a lot cooler and then keep that temperature down 
seems it does it is pretty warm when you when you get it really going so i think we need to change that down especially when it's processing being at 720p when it needs to use see the cpu now so transferring it it's using a it's heating up that cpu quite very harshly because of all this very transferring to 720p because i'm bringing it in a high resolution as possible and 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 if i ever get to 4k but i can't do that because i've got a 4k camera um literally if i'm still using that uh, that system that thing will get really hot so i need so if I'm still using this computer, it'll be definitely handy for the future to keep it updated. I actually need, let's see how, oh, five days, there you go. So I've got, I've definitely got a good couple of days to decide what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, because I'm looking at that, and it's pretty good, but it's quite big, so I need to think about that. Uh, if I can possibly can, I'll see if I can find any websites with measurements, because seriously, I think I have, might have need them, because... I don't want to buy this as long as I get if if it doesn't fit if I can sell it back or the main thing is I get the money back that I paid for it or it, even more would be great but the main thing is I get my money back that I paid for it but yeah that's what I want to do with the system give it a bit of upgrade there's nothing else really it's just the the basic stuff I really wanted to do my own CPU cooling with proper coolant but with the case and stuff you need a reservoir and stuff and the, and that case is just too tight because it's rammed in it and there's and the, there's not a lot of access and space in this sort of way so a bit stuffed with that but yeah the, at the moment for what i need and stuff though this case will work for now but any improvements might, might need in the future we may have to look for more options but this will definitely last for a good amount of time but i don't know if this v8 uh, monster is gonna is gonna work or not seems of it being so big seems literally it is quite big it sticks outwards far too and that's why i'm worrying it or if it just squeezes on is it going to touch the side of the case is it going to vibrate when it's on and stuff is it going to make a whole load of racket so i need to do um a bit of research with that but yeah, um, I'll keep an update on that. By the build, you'll see what I've got. But I promise I'll get something definitely half decent. This is not really about you guys. Well, it sort of is. You want to see what I'm editing is. This is what I'm doing. But it depends. Every people have different options. Most people want to get make the best as possible. I just want to make something definitely off something. I want to spend a you know a bit of money, not like get as cheap as this I can in some way. Get something half decent and make it how I want it to. And just make it cheap as possible. I want to spend some money to it when I didn't, don't really need to, and add a bit more. But and as I need to do already. But I spend this stuff because I want to do it, and also improve videoing and some also some stuff that I just need for a computer by myself without just doing videos. So yeah, that's the main point of it. Wow, this camera's getting a little bit blurry. There you go. It's probably because of lighting conditions. I couldn't find a bulb, so I nicked it from the lab. And this is quite a weird one. Oh, actually, that'll just make the camera even more if I point it upwards. But that's how we are at the moment. But yeah, the parts list is built. That's what I'm thinking about. If there's any more, I'll bring it in. But at the moment, yeah, that's basically my part list. Um, uh, this is basically the PC build part two thingy i don't know i'll come up with a description somehow but yeah guys that's pretty much it so yeah please comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye